Hi carrots, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I've been able to react to anything 17 that it's made me like really, really sad. But I'm glad I'm able to finally sit down and react to the title track to 17th newest comeback, Maestro. I don't know a lot about this. I do know, there's a couple things I do know. I do know it has AI in it. I do know there is a story behind it. Um, I also know about Wanu. That's, and like even the thumbnail was Wanu and I was like, I've seen clips of him on stage. I don't talk about him a whole lot on my Twitter page, but like I bias one, like one is one of my biases in 17. So like I have a carried version of one somewhere behind this, um, but I I love one. So when people started flooding my timeline with videos of him, I was like, I entirely welcome this. I couldn't watch them with sound because of course I hadn't reacted to the comeback, but they were sure nice to look at. But before I get into this, there's actually like a couple like post service announcements, public service announcements I have to make. Um, so you can go ahead and skip this if you want. I don't care. Um, but if you do skip it, I don't want any questions after the video about this. But I want you to take a moment. It's nice, bright, sunshiny. The lighting is pretty good right now because it's a nice day outside. Yeah, we had a small hurricane earlier in the day with like 85 mile per hour winds or wind gust, uh, my fence fell over. It was pouring down rain. We had multiple inches of rain. F uh, roads were flooded. I like almost couldn't get back to my house from work. Um, but because my fence fell over, I had to like get it out of my neighbor's yard and bring it back into my yard. And in the meantime, I am highly allergic to mosquitoes. So if you see like red bumps or whatever all over my arm or if my elbow is like bright red um that's that's why um additionally if you see because i talk with my hands a lot if you see that this finger is bright red i got bit by a spider i like i don't even know if it was like a, a brown recluse or something because those are very prominent here um but it's just been like th throbbing and being bright red for the last like hour or so so do know I do know, um, and I am slightly concerned, but I'll figure that out after I react to this. Additionally, um, so I will go back to like a normal eight to five after May 15th because I work so many nights and weekends almost all year except for the end of May um, through August. So I'm trying to bring back my like weekend streams and I know I have been flooding me with comments about going 17. So when I make polls about what y'all want me to watch on those weekend streams, y'all have to show out in order for me to continue to watch going 17. But if I do watch going 17, I will say a lot of the times I got comments about like, Emily, you didn't laugh at this joke, but the joke you needed like a doctorate in 17 ology to get because you needed to see this going 17 episode which led to this going 17 episode which led to this going 17 episode and i just don't have time to know all that so y'all are gonna have to bear with me on some of the jokes so um if i don't get that they were referencing back to 2017 on june 5th that they did something like i just I, i'm not gonna be able to do that so bear with me on that PSA over. Let's go ahead and get into Maestro. Who's glitching? Hey. That's such a cool text. Okay. That was so good. That last little section, amazing. Um, so this is definitely not what I thought this was gonna sound like. I thought because I I, I haven't seen a lot about this envy, but I do know based off what people have been saying. It's very dramatic. Um, and I guess coming into this, I was going to expect a really, really dramatic song. 
and it's a lot more chill than I thought it was gonna be. But I loved, I love this kind of music. Oh. Ooh. Woozy looks like the coolest person on the planet with the hood and the hair and everything. Leading the charge. Vernon. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. So, uh, this and this is before the course. Okay, accelerando. I wanted to see because I wasn't really keeping track of what the tempo was before that part, but I wanted to see if they actually did speed up the tempo. Maybe slightly. Ooh. There is something underneath this chorus. I can't tell what it is. Action Star Wanu! Yes. Yes. My Action Star. Okay, there's been so many musical terms in this, but they like keep up with it in their song. Um, like the techno aspect of it, as soon as Wanu brings that in, um, you can hear the added, uh, sections of it. It's really, really cool. I changed the rhythm. It's got a very hollow sound. June. God, if anybody knows me, weak at the knees immediately. June. June. This is actually really cool. Jargon. <laughs> y'all look entirely too good in this MV. I need y'all to chill. <laughs> because there, there's so many really cool aspects to the music. And I can't focus because y'all are being y'all. Remember what I just said? There were so many different things in the me. I can't even speak. Me and you. <sighs> Ooh. 
I gotta see a stage of this. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I, oh god, there's still so much of this song. I wish I could see with these flashes what's actually going on. See, I can't even really hear the timpani. Love the Maknae leader energy we got there. Ming Hao. Ming Hao, I feel like in the recent uh, comebacks has had these kind of sections. Um, that like the part from Hot, um, the like second intro to the chorus in Super. Uh, he's just had these very like highlighting sections in their recent comebacks. And there's just something about, like, I feel like I haven't really seen Ming Hao. And then it's just like, here I am. <laughs> this footwork. Come on, Joshua. Okay, I'm gonna rewind this back a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Cause I'm worried about, I'm um, worried. I'm wondering about the brass at the end. Okay, so they have had those sections. I, ne I didn't really notice the brass part until the very end. This was so eerie, and I wonder why. I like how empty this last chorus is. Oh, yes, with the metronome. Is that what that was the whole time? Because at the beginning... Ugh. So... As a... And I... Two things, two things, two things. So... Literally almost all of my friends are music majors. Almost all of them. And I would love to get their inputs on this song because and not even just the song the mv as well but as someone who did who played an instrument for so long um music is very dear to me and i love the advances we can have in music with how with the addition of technology and kind of the how digitalized everything has become and when you bring in AI, the like heart and soul of music is no longer there. There's something very precious about uh, when you receive a score. Um, and I'm, I'm saying this in terms of like a, a musician um, or like a, a band kid. Um, but when you when you receive a piece of music 
you know somebody put their entire like worked hours on this to make it what it is to have a performance of it um to see it executed all the way through um there were like stages in it uh they got they whether it was like music producers do now where everything is basically like through the computer blah 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 um where you have like sound of digital sound effects and um you have those sound boards and everything that you use or as or like just physically recording um somebody playing multiple instruments putting it together to make it to make the song what it is um there's just very, something very precious and pure about that process um and so the fact that ai can come in and basically sing 17 songs at like as without needing 17 is just uh, it just uh, like it's a it's it doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth um and i know it's like really cool that or at least people think it's really cool when they see like their favorite idols doing covers of songs that they never sang but there's also something very frightening about that um and we've seen instances where it can be really really bad in certain in certain situations um so I, that's that's such a crucial part of why Seventeen is delivering this message of like who is the maestro, who is really in charge of playing this, providing this music, um, who's really in charge of singing, um, or singing or playing or whatever it may be, um, because we've gotten to a point where it can all be done through a computer, so. Um, but I think it would be really cool to have my, like, musician friends listen to this and get their input on it. Um, I really want to listen to it again, just because with everything going on and them being them, um, I'm trying to look at lyrics, I'm trying to look at, and I didn't even really look at the lyrics a whole, whole lot, which kind of, uh, makes me sad because I know this was a good, I know there were crucial things in here that made this message so good, um, flows from rap, rap line absolutely incredible vocalist sounded amazing M performance team does it all they always deliver um but the chain I, I also would love to hear this like the, the spotify version or like the apple music version or whatever where it's just all the way through and you don't have really those breaks in there because when minghao section came in it was very different very very different so i wanted to see what the transition would be to get to that section without the like concept break without the storyline break that they had in the mv um but it was really really cool to listen to like the way they would talk the um accelerando and they kind of pick it they either would pick it up a little bit or add in another layer of um a melody or um of just like a rhythmic um part uh or like auxiliary percussion something to like kind of make it feel like we are picking up that tempo and i want to say it did slightly um pick up a little bit but uh there was one section though i thought would have been really cool there is s coops and dino section they talked about um moving into a crescendo or um so, something about christian doing the music or whatever it was but if they like physically in their parts made that section more aggressive where it did feel like a crescendo that would have been really cool um i think that was one of the things that i made note of when watching this but the techno sections wanting about like i change the rhythm i make the beats whatever um, and then physically adding that in. But I thought they did an amazing job with this. First and foremost, like I want to I want to hear my like other like music friends inputs on this because I think th they would think it was really cool. But 17, 17, oh, I can't wait to see those stages. Those uh, music pro show performances have been a sight to see and I've wanted to see all of it. So I've only gotten bits and pieces of it, but I'm very, very excited to sit down and react to those. Um, I don't know if they did a studio tune or anything. Like I said, I've been so busy 
um, that I haven't really had time to see what all everybody has been putting out. So, but be on the lookout for my next 17 reaction whenever it may come out. Y'all let me know in the comment section uh, promotions or stages or whatever that they have done just in case I missed it. So, but with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye, carrots.